<laughs> By the way, there's a story in Forbes today talking about why they did what you just described. Why do they have people signing up? May I? Uh, yeah, uh, sure. Uh, I, I think it's because um, that way they can tout the bigger number and they have all of your information. It's, well, I think those two are part of it, but I think there's a third reason. And the reason they talk about in Forbes is if you went to the website without giving them information, you would see an unsubsidized price for that policy. So you would see a policy that would show the true cost to the American people of what each policy is. If you go there after you give them the information, the price looks much more sensible because they're, they're including all the free money they're giving you from the government. So the way they designed the program was specifically designed to hide the true cost of each one of these policies so people like us couldn't just go to the website and make fun of all the high prices. You have to go through the entire process, and that way there's a layer there to hide the true cost from the American people. And this is uh, – because there's no other – I mean, obviously the information is, is vital, and, and obviously boosting their numbers is vital. But the idea that you would design a system where you have to log in before uh, you actually see the prices makes no sense if you want people to actually buy it. But if you want people to not right, realize so how much it costs, then you do it that way. Here's what we need to do. What we need to do is then sign up and take screenshots of all of the prices and put them up on the blaze. Well, the problem is once you sign up, you get you get the subsidies built in. See, what they want what they want to do is hide how much of it the government is paying for. They don't give you the unsubsidized price because they want to know exactly what level of subsidy you'll get before you get in there. I suppose you could do that if you signed up and claimed really high income so that you didn't get any subsidies. Maybe that would work. But the point is they want you to see this post-subsidy price. So you're saying, wow, Obamacare is really reasonable. Well, it's not reasonable because that's just a bunch of money the government is giving you to, you know, to, to, you know, uh, to pay half the cost. But in reality, uh, you know, it's costing the American people a lot more than that. And they don't want that to go, get out there.